Grace Werner was a very successful woman of her time. Although she isn't well known, and to this day there are no pictures of her, she's a very important part of Wright's history and deserves to be remembered. In her short life of 52 years, she was the president of Werner Realty, leader of the Centennial Club, and a mother to four sons, Charles Jr., Forrest, Richard, and Daniel Werner. But most importantly, she is considered the mother of Wright's. Werner was the driving force behind the building of Wright's High School. She pushed for a new high school to be built on the west side of Evansville because it was too far of a commute to Central, which was the only high school in Evansville at the time. The distance prohibited many young people from continuing their education. Therefore, in 1913, the fight for a west side high school began. Grace Werner and the Centennial Mothers Club attended every board meeting and presented their demands and ideas for the new school. In the winter of 1914, the president of the school board informed the Mothers Club that a vote for the new school would be taken as soon as the site was determined. The original proposed site that they had selected for the West Side Junior High School was in the park on 11th Avenue, between Virginia and Delaware Avenue. When school board president Major A.C. Rosencrantz fell ill, the vote was postponed for several months. Then, in May, a section of bleachers collapsed during the field day exercises for Evansville school children, and the school board's attention turned to the building of Bossy Field. It would take three long years until Werner and the West Side Mothers finally achieved their goal. They broke ground for the new school on August 12, 1917, and Wright's High School was open for students on September 3rd of the following year. Miss Werner would send her three youngest sons to the new school. Grace Werner left a long-lasting legacy on the west side of Evansville. Through her bright ideas, leadership in her community, and tireless effort, she bettered the lives of many young people for generations to come.